uh, what's up everyone uh, today uh, we're gonna talk about the progressive tense okay progressive tense okay actually the progressive tense is uh, more of a verb okay so when we talk about the progressive tense we're talking about verb and verb tells about what okay like that right when you say verb you do that and that's action okay action okay so that's an action word so that's what uh, uh, we're gonna be talking about all about the progressive tense okay so so what makes this uh, progressive tense special Okay, so why is it called progressive tense? So let's let's uh, break it down the word one by one, okay? So we have here progressive, okay? So if you look up on a dictionary, okay, uh, it, it means that the, it's an ongoing action, meaning the action is happening, okay? So ongoing, ongoing action, okay? Okay, so when you say uh, tense, when you look up in dictionary, it's more of a force, okay? So more of a, not really tension, okay? Uh, uh, the tense, the, 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 the emphatic, okay? The emphasis, okay? So the emphasis, okay? So in other words, progressive tense is an ongoing action that you want to emphasize when you say what you want to emphasize you want to uh, talk about okay you want to uh, highlight okay uh, you imagine if you're writing in a in a paper or uh, in an essay okay and you uh, get your highlighter pen and you highlight some words because uh, that words is special to you so that's what's called the uh, highlighting okay so right. so that's what a progressive tense, tense is all about so it's uh, talking about ongoing action that you want to em emphasize or you want to talk about okay so we have here some definition okay that I wrote them okay so progressive tense the progressive tense is a verb tense that indicates a continuing action okay like what I've said or in progress okay in a progress meaning it's happening uh, you don't know if it's uh, today or in the past but your your point is uh, you're telling that the actions happening okay so the progressive tense called continuous tense uh, to describe continuing action okay and it can be conjugated to be used in the past okay present or future okay so in progressive tense it can be uh, you can be talking about present okay which uh, is conjugated by uh, B verbs B verbs or you can call it auxiliary verbs uh, and is R okay plus verb in the ing form okay in the ing form okay because ing form refers to the con continuing action okay all right then okay uh, another uh, type of progressive tense okay that uh, another uh, 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 the other time that the progressive tense uh, can be talking about is um, uh, past. It can also talk about the past, okay? And this is conjugated by was if your subject is singular. Hold on, okay. Let me turn on this first, okay? Because it's creating some noise. Static line, okay? So. It can also talk about past. It can also be used uh, with the past actions, okay? But you have to put was if your subject is singular, okay? Singular meaning uh, one person, okay? One person, okay? Or where, 
if your subject is plural, okay? Okay, then plus verb, okay, plus ing to indicate that the action is a continuing action, okay? Then three is, of course, a future. Future, okay? So future, um, hold on, okay? Uh, future, usually the future, uh, future uh, auxiliary verbs, okay, uh, usually represented by, uh, sorry, I ran, ran out of, uh, uh, where's my pen, hold on, there, okay, so future, okay, will, or shall, okay, but hold on, okay, hold on, because uh, I write down here for the future tense that's uh, conjugated, okay, so it's uh, conjugated by will or, well, uh, yeah, uh, will, shall, plus be, okay, plus the verb ing verb plus ing, okay? You call this uh, verb ing as uh, present participle, okay? Uh, technically, okay, you call that, but um, if we base on its function, this is a continuing action, okay? We call it verb ing because you want to tell that the action's happening, okay? Maybe in the present, today, in, in the past, okay? Um, maybe yesterday or not not so long time not, not so long time ago or long time ago and future okay uh, it's not happening now but uh, surely will it happen in the future you're you're pretty much sure that it's gonna happen in the future so you use this uh, format and uh, you use progressive tense if you want to talk about that the actions will be continuing or uh, has uh, has been continuing or uh, is continuing okay so the emphasis is the continu the continuance or the happening of an action okay so let's uh, uh, make some example out of this uh, format okay so again before uh, we proceed far further okay so present okay M is R okay just remember, okay, present, okay, um, is R, okay, because it's, you want to say that the action is ha happening now, okay, when do you use am, of course, if your subject is I, right, if your subject is I, okay, and is, if your subject is one person, okay, uh, one person, okay, one person, like a name of, uh, a name of a single person, Okay, or even it's a thing, but uh, it's only one thing that's uh, that also doing an action. For example, uh, a cell phone, okay? A cell phone can do an action, okay? Or, if your subject is uh, plural, okay? Like, more than one person, okay? Two person or more. But, uh, this, al this is also used for a singular action, but only to, if your subject, if your singular subject, uh, is a pronoun you, okay? So when you use you, you use R as your uh, uh, auxiliary verb or uh, be verb, okay, to link to the continuing action. So verb ing is the continuing action, okay? Verb ing, okay, it's very easy, okay? Um, you just think of an action, then put ing on it, okay? Uh, for example, okay, uh, what am I doing right now, okay? Discuss, right? Discuss, okay? So you put ING, then it's gonna be discussing, okay? So, is it okay to erase now? Is it okay to erase the, the board right now? Okay, I'm gonna erase it, okay? Okay, so, uh, okay, so we have, we have this format. Remember this and you'll be good on this subject, okay? So let's talk about verb ing, okay? Verb ing, okay? So how do you form verb ing, okay? 
verb, okay? So when we say verb, it's uh, an action word, okay? An action word like uh, uh, I've said a while ago, discuss, okay? Then you want to say that it's doing now, it's like doing, it's moving, okay? So you put ing, so what will happen if you put ing? What what will be the word, okay? So it's gonna be discussing, okay? How about other words, okay? Other words, okay? Other words like, for example, uh, what are you doing right now? Right now, what are you doing, okay? I am here discussing, right, about grammar, but what, what about you? What are you doing, okay? That, okay? You're using your eye to listen, to what I'm talking about, so how do you call it, okay? What, what are you doing right now, okay? Uh, watching, okay? So, watch. So, the word is watch, then if you put ing into it, so it's gonna be watching, okay? So, watching there, right? So, watching, okay? Watching, or uh, may, uh, someone, um, uh, someone might say, we're we're learning, okay? Uh, uh, some of you might even say that we're not only watching, we're also learning, okay? So learn, then put ing, learning, okay? Okay, so just uh, uh, two more examples of a verb, then let's put ing to it, okay? The common, okay? the common action that you're doing every day okay so that it would be easy to remember like say uh like that it's called that right okay it's brush okay and the action is happening so you put ing into it so it's brushing okay brushing okay what else one more then uh you're gonna give example on each uh, progressive tense okay um let's say uh let's say uh mm, what's called yeah what, what what is this action what action am i doing okay what action that one that one what, what's that action call right so you put that ing to it okay equals calling okay all right so there you go okay so these are the verbs action words okay so if you're gonna change it to make it uh, appear that it's uh, it's uh, happening okay it's ongoing okay you can call it you can call it like that okay so becomes discussing Watch become became uh, or becomes watching. Okay, learn becomes learning. Brush become brushing. Call becomes calling. Okay, all right. So, all right. So that's for the ing form. Okay, of the verb. Okay. So let's move on. Now we're gonna move on each uh, time of the progressive tense. Okay, on each time the, the progressive sense is used, okay? Sorry, I, uh, okay. Okay, there you go, okay? So, it's good again, okay? So, let's, uh, talk about past, okay? Oh, no, present. Let's start present now, okay? Let's, uh, let's talk about present progressive, okay? Present progressive. Present progressive tense, okay. Tense, when you say tense, we're talking about verb, okay. Progressive also verb, okay. So present progressive uh, tense, uh, present progressive tense, okay. So again, present, what time, when, when is present? When is it, when is present? Is it yesterday? Is it uh, one year ago? One month ago? Is it long time ago? No, it's uh, it's it's today, right? It's right now. 
right now, okay? Today, right now, today, right now, okay? Right now, okay? Today, present, okay? That's present, today, okay? And progressive, okay? It's the action, okay? The action is happening, okay? Okay, uh, the action is happening, okay? And or uh, 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 maybe uh, some of you will say it's ongoing, okay? So present is today and progressive is happening and tense is the emphasis of the verb, okay? Okay, it's the verb. So we're talking about today's action that's happening, okay? And how do, we, how do we form again the present progressive tense? How do we form again? Of course, we have what? Uh, am, is, are, plus verb, plus ing, okay? And why did we put ing again? Because we want to tell the reader that, that the action is happening, okay? or the action is happening mean or the subject is moving okay all right so we put ing to emphasis that it's an ongoing action okay or it's uh, happening or uh, or it, you can call it it's doing okay so am is or again okay am is or right so am okay so uh, you remember your uh, basic sense pattern, subject, verb, and object, okay? So, M here, what's, what will be your subject if your B verb is M, okay? Well, what, what's your subject if your B verb is M, okay? Of course, we use M if your subject is the pronoun I, okay? If your subject exclusively for you, the pronoun I, okay? Exclusively for the pronoun I, okay? and you cannot use to something else okay so very easy to remember okay you only use that if your subject is the pronoun I okay only I okay M okay so that's exclusive for I okay so I am okay so you got M right then what will be next verb ing okay so verb ing give me one action okay then put ing into it so uh, let's say uh, all right. Uh, I'll uh, I'll make myself uh, an ex I I'll uh, I'll make myself as an example. Okay, I am discussing. Okay, I am discussing. Okay, so yeah, there you have. Okay, I subject. Okay, subject. Then am your B verb or auxiliary verb, you can call it that way, whatever you want to call it, as long as you remember its function, okay, and how you use it, and this one, a verb ing, verb ing, uh, okay, verb ing, ongoing action, okay, there you go, so you got a perfect sentence there, okay, a perfect Progress. No, no. I, okay, I'm not saying uh, perfect because perfect is also a kind of uh, of uh, is uh, you know it's a different lesson. Okay, it's also a kind of uh, of uh, verb tense. Okay, but I'm saying perfect. Perfect as an adjective. Okay, so okay, this one is good. A very good example of uh, of present progressive. Okay, so I am discussing. Okay, so right now. Today, okay, I am doing the discuss the discussion. Okay, I am discussing discussing. Okay, meaning me is doing the action discussing. Okay, all right. So there you have very good example. I am discussing. Okay, so one more before we proceed uh, to the next. Okay. Okay. Uh, let me erase it. Is it okay to erase now? Alright, so I'm gonna erase it, okay? There you go, okay? Or, 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 or you can say, or, or uh, I can also say, I am making a video, okay? I, subject, um, 
is the auxiliary verb, then ing, making, then your object of video. Okay, so that's also a very good example of present progressive tense. So what about is? Okay, so is, of course, is is used only for singular subject. Okay, so um, hold on, I'm getting red uh, marker. Okay, so is is only for singular subject. Okay, singular subject only one person. Okay, or thing. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so let's make a sentence out of this. Okay. So we use is and verb ing, then our subject here should be one person or thing, okay? So let's make a, uh, uh, let's see, uh, let's make up some name, okay? Let's make up some name. Let's say uh, Nicki Minaj, okay? Nicki Minaj, okay? I don't know if you know Nicki Minaj, okay? Nicki Minaj, okay? So how many is me, Nicki Minaj? Okay, only one person, right? So we're gonna use is, okay? And because it's using uh, a name of a person, a name of a single person, so the best, aux actually, the right auxiliary verb here is is, okay? Nicki Minaj is, is, okay? Then, okay, what we need next, verb ing, okay? So, think of an action, okay? Who is M Nicki Minaj? She's a singer, okay? So, what is she doing right now? Because she's a singer, okay? She might be singing, okay? So, Nicki Minaj is, your verb, your verb is sing, okay? And she's doing it, she's doing it right now, so... It should be singing, alright? So, Nicki Minaj is singing, okay? Alright, so, there you, there you have. Very good example of present progressive tense, okay? Let's uh, make it more longer, okay? Let's make, uh, let's put the subject into it, okay? Uh, let's say, Nicki Minaj... Uh, uh, Nicki Minaj... Uh, sorry, my bad. Nicki Minaj is... Uh, what you call this? Okay? What's that? What's that action? Huh? What's the action? What's the action? The action, okay? Piano, right? Piano. What do you do with the piano? Okay? Of course, you play it, okay? And make it a progressive verb, okay? Um, Alright, so put ing into it, so what you got is playing, okay, so Nicki Minaj is playing, okay, what, a piano, okay, so there you go, okay, so you have here, okay, Nicki Minaj, your subject is, is your auxiliary verb, or uh, you can call it B verb for short, okay, or a B verb, it's really a B verb, okay, uh, be verb, okay, then playing, uh, yeah, auxiliary verb, sorry, my bad, auxiliary means it's a touch to help something, okay, auxiliary verb, okay, auxiliary verb, be verb, it doesn't matter, okay, uh, playing is your, the present participle, okay, present participle, okay, if you want to be more technical, okay, you can call, that's the name of it, but, to make it easy, we just call it verb ing, okay? Or your verb ing, or your ongoing action, okay? Ongoing action, okay? And what about piano? What is, what is it? Piano is the one who received the action, okay? So the piano is your object, okay? Because the one that receives the action is the object, okay? Alright, so there you go, there you have, so it's a very good example of present progressive tense, okay, and using the uh, auxiliary verb uh, is, okay, okay, so again, you use is only for one person, okay, okay, so, okay, so I'm going to erase it, okay, so some, some of you might ask, okay, might ask, uh, uh did, what about uh, pronoun? Is it okay to use pronoun with uh, with the uh, present progressive tense using uh, 
is as your uh, your auxiliary verb absolutely of course okay you can also say she okay she is playing a piano okay she is playing a piano okay or she is playing a piano okay or she he okay if 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 your subject is a male so of course you should use your pronoun he okay okay but always remember you use only the pronoun if you already mentioned the name of the person and you don't want to repeat it okay you don't want to repeat it okay because uh, you know uh, in the uh, in the English language okay if you if you repeat the person too often you will sound redundant okay and it's not good okay so here we go okay so that's also good you can use the pronoun she if it's a female he if it's a, uh, he if your subject is a male and uh, it if your subject is a thing or an object okay so let's uh, let's try to uh, to use uh, thing as our subject okay for example uh, it is recording okay okay so I use it because you already know what I'm talking about and I already mentioned the object okay maybe I, I've uh, I've just told you that uh, that uh, the camera is recording okay so it refers to the camera that I have mentioned a while ago okay so there, so that's why we use it okay because camera is a thing so we cannot use he she okay so there you go it should be it because it's an object okay okay for example I, I haven't mentioned the object yet of course I had to name it okay so I would say uh, the camera is recording okay all right so there you go so this is our object how many only one right only one camera okay so only one so that's a singular okay so that's a singular uh, uh, that's a singular uh, that's a single object okay that's a singular so this is our subject this is our auxiliary verb and this is our uh, verb ing okay so the camera is recording. So, what, sir, what, why did you use the? Because I am referring to specific cameras, okay? A uh, specific camera, I mean, okay? Because there are lots of cameras around the world, okay? I'm only referring to one specific or one particular camera, okay? So the camera is recording, okay? So uh, the, uh, the, that's uh, okay. So that's uh, for the uh, auxiliary verb is okay so let's move on okay uh, that's so uh, uh, okay um, I think we've discussed too much on that uh, auxiliary verb let's move on on R okay okay on R on R okay so on R okay R we use R the um, auxiliary verb R okay if your subject is plural okay so R okay equals uh, subject plural okay subject is uh, subject is plural okay plural why is it plural uh, plural what you mean uh, what do you mean by plural plural okay how many uh, is plural refers to one person or thing yes or no uh, what about you over there okay what's your answer okay if you answer that it's more than one person you're right you're absolutely right okay so plural means more than one person or thing your subject okay so we use R okay but there's there's one exception okay when you say exception meaning this is usually the rule but we can use it uh, we can use it some other way but but only to this okay meaning uh, okay so we use R for plural subject plural subject okay meaning more than 
more than one person or thing, okay? But, but there's a but, okay? And uh, when I say but, not but the S but, but the but, uh, the conjunction but, okay? But, uh, we also use R uh, in a singular subject, but only to the pronoun you, okay? So in other words, this is the only singular subject pronoun, okay? This is a singular pronoun that only uses, okay, that only uses R, okay? R, okay? So that's, uh, that is, that's the only stranger around, uh, that's the only st strangers around on that rule, okay? There's no other singular subject that can use the, the uh, auxiliary verb or be verb R except the pronoun you. In other words, R, a, uh, R is meant to be used for plural subjects, but there's only one singular subject that can use it and that's the pronoun you okay so you just imagine okay you just imagine uh, uh, for example uh, let's say um, let's say uh, uh, for example uh, yeah let's say let's say for example okay uh, imagine in uh, office of uh, let's say office of the president of the United States Donald Trump okay okay so the, uh, for example okay uh, that office is exclusive is only exclusive for the president and his cabinet okay and other authorized person but but there's but they might allow a janitor to go inside not because to to uh, to work with the president but because just to clean up the room okay so the only uh, the only person who can enter that uh, uh, on that office is the, the is only the janitor okay so and then the rest of the the re uh, the, the other um, the other uh, the other, uh, let's say, uh, lower rank can no longer enter on their office, okay? So, something like that, okay? So, uh, so you think that R is meant to be used for plural subject, but there's only one special um, singular subject, and that's only you. And there's no other, okay? All right, so you okay so let's uh, make a sense out of this rule okay so um, all right so r plural subject okay so let's make a sense okay here we go let's make a sense out of this okay rule okay so uh, think of a subject that's uh, plural meaning uh, more than one person or thing okay uh, let's say uh, Let's say uh, Koreans, Koreans, all right, Koreans, Koreans might be a good uh, subject, okay? So I'm not only th talking about uh, a single uh, Korean, okay, but I'm talking about uh, a group of persons, a group of Koreans, okay? It's, uh, I'm talking about more than one Korean, okay? So Koreans, okay? So Koreans are, okay, are... Uh, Okay, so, so there we, there you have. We, we, we're, we're now using the uh, auxiliary verb or. Okay, so what's next would be verb ing. Okay, so think of a word, then put an ing into it. Okay, so that we could make a present progressive tense. Okay, so what the, what do, you, uh, what do you use uh, what. Uh, what uh, do Koreans usually do? Okay, 
Okay, let's make a meaningful example, okay, based on uh, a real si situation, okay? What do Koreans usually do, okay? So Koreans are, okay, action, what you call this? Okay, reading, okay? Koreans are reading, reading what? English. English, okay. Maybe I'll erase this one, okay. Are uh, reading English uh, books, okay. English are uh, uh, reading English books, okay. So why did we ca capitalize the English? It should always be capitalized because it's a formal, uh, it's a formal noun, okay. It's a um, yeah, it's just a. a um, it's a formal name, so it should be the first letter should be capitalized always. Okay, so there we have. Okay, so you have your plural subject. Okay, well, you got your plural subject there, and you got your um, um, auxiliary verb. Okay, auxiliary verb, and you got your uh, verb ing verb ing okay but technically in uh, grammar the, uh, the, the the name for that is present participle okay if you want to be more technical okay the, the uh, in grammar it's called present participle then English books is the one that's being read uh, being read and uh, it's receiving the action so uh, it's gonna be our uh, our object okay always remember that okay and most of the time the object is a noun okay okay uh, there there you have okay a uh, very good example of uh, press progressive tense using the be verb r okay for your plural subjects okay Koreans are reading English books okay okay now uh, let's go to uh, the exception okay the exception to the rule that r is uh, used for uh, plural subjects okay so, uh, and uh, the only exception for that is, what is it again? What, what, what is it that special, uh, special uh, pronoun that, uh, that uses uh, R as its auxiliary verb? What is it again? Alright, start, start with letter Y. Okay? If you answer you, you're right, okay? So it's you, okay? So let's make a sentence out of it, okay? Here we go. Here we go, okay? So let's make a sentence out of it, okay? So actually what you're talking about here is a single, uh, is a single person. Uh, yeah, a single person, one person, and pronoun, and you're talking to him, okay? Because that's why you're using the pronoun you okay you okay then again what what's the B verb or the auxiliary oh I mean the auxiliary verb that we're gonna use is it um is or okay if you say um you're wrong if you say is you're wrong if you say are you're right okay although this is used in um, in plural subjects but the only exception is when it comes to the pronoun you okay so we're gonna use this, okay? R, okay? So R. So we're gonna use R, okay? There we go. Then what will be next, okay? In ma uh, in making a present progressive tense, okay? Oh, our uh, verb ing, okay? So think of an action, then make it an ongoing action by putting an ing into it, okay? So you are, uh, let's say, let's imagine, let's say, let's make a very good example, okay? Uh, you are, for example, you want to tell me what I am doing, okay? So you are, what? Well, you are, you are, uh, you are teaching, you are teaching English, okay? You're teaching English, okay? Or you can all you can say you are discussing grammar, okay? You can also say that you are discussing grammar, okay? 
you are discussing grammar, okay? What if, okay? What if I'm the one who will tell you, okay? Okay, tell you, second person, me first person, the one that I'm talking to, second person, okay? So, I'm, I'm gonna tell you what you're doing, okay? So, I'm gonna say, you are listening, okay? So, you are listening, right? You are listening. You are listening in my class. You are listening in my class, okay? You are listening in my class, okay? Or you are listening in my class. Or you can say, you are watching my class. You are watching my class, okay? You can also say that. Actually, that's, that's, uh, that, that, that's one's much better, okay? You are watching my class, okay? All right, so there you, there you have, okay? So we're done with the present progressive tense. We've already discussed uh, one of the time that the progressive tense can be talking about, and that time is the present time, okay? The present time, and what's the emphasis again of the progressive tense? It's the progressive or the happening or the ongoing action okay the have the happening of an okay so we're done with the present okay so let's move on on uh, the past uh, progressive tense okay okay so now we're gonna be talking about the past progressive Tense, okay, so the format for past progressive tense anyway before we proceed further, okay, so let me ask you what do you how do you understand? Uh, these words, okay, how do you understand past progressive tense, okay? Any one of you of course, I, I can't hear it any one of you I don't know if I could read some of your answers here, okay? Okay, maybe I can't okay, so anyway so, what you mean by past progressive tense, okay? Past progressive tense, okay? From the word itself, all right? Let's break it down one by one, the definition of each word, okay? So, here we have past, of course. It's not, it's not today, right? It's not present. So, is it future, okay? Is it tomorrow? No, past. It's finished, okay? So, progressive, like uh, what we've... Uh, talked about what uh, like what I've said it's happening it's ongoing intense of course the emphasis okay so in other words the past progressive is we're talking about the past progressive ongoing in the tense the verb ongoing action okay so meaning that time although although the actions finished but you want to emphasize that at that time in the fat in, in the past that the actions was happening okay so the format the format for uh, the pa the format or the pattern for past progressive tense okay is of course what are the auxiliary verbs for when you want to talk about the past what 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 are the be verb or the auxiliary verb if we are talking about the past Right, start with letter W, and it, it's only three words for a singular subject. Okay, so was okay. Then, if your subject's plural, of course, were okay. Then, of course, your verb plus ing. Okay, so was, were, plus verb ing, meaning in the past. Okay, past it was happening okay the subject was doing the action in the past okay so let's uh, put it into uh, let's make up some sentences out of this pattern okay so your subject uh, for example was of course the subject here it should be singular 
this one plural okay so let's start with uh, a singular okay for example let's make up some names uh, let's say uh, uh, Snoop Dogg okay I don't know if someone of you uh, uh, knows uh, Snoop Dogg okay let's say Snoop Dogg okay was okay so verb ing what was he doing okay what was he doing okay let's say who who is Snoop Dogg okay uh, what is he famous about okay what is he what is who is Snoop Dogg Snoop Dogg is a rapper right so what might he be doing is he might be rapping okay so we could say Snoop Dogg was rapping okay okay I or uh, don't you know that uh, Snoop Dogg just uh, received his walk on the fame in Hollywood California so so because of that so he would he had a speech okay so and you want to tell your listener that what was uh, Snoop Dogg doing uh, when he uh, when he received or when he got his walk uh, of fame in Hollywood okay so you someone of you might say Snoop Dogg was okay was okay what do you do with speech okay was making a speech okay you can say Snoop Dogg was talking a speech okay because the speech itself is already talking okay but making meaning he's doing the action making a speech okay so this goes together okay so this is a phrase right you don't separate it okay so you don't say talking a speech okay that's wrong okay actually uh, you won't sound, sound funny because uh, Americans are uh, understanding okay they understand that we don't speak uh, their language so uh, flawlessly okay you can call it okay but if you really want to sound correct and good to their ears so you use this phrase making a speech okay not talking speech okay so Snoop Dogg was making a speech okay so we have was okay because our subject is only one person and that is Snoop Dogg and okay okay was then this is our action verb plus ing because it was ongoing ongoing action happening at that time okay in the past okay so let's okay so easy right easy okay so or or you, you can also use pronoun okay if you if you don't want to use the name of a person because you've already mentioned it and your listener uh, already knows who are you talking about so you, you you can use pronouns okay so she was uh, no Snoop Dogg is he okay so Snoop Dogg is a man or a woman is Snoop Dogg Snoop Dogg is a man okay so what uh, pronoun that fits Snoop Dogg of course he right he so he was he was rapping okay he was making a speech making a speech okay okay so this one okay you're you now using pronoun he because this he refers to Snoop Dogg okay and yeah, your listener already knows who are you talking about and all you and what you're doing right now is just a follow-up follow up so you don't have to mention Snoop, uh, the, the name Snoop Dogg again and again and again because it would irritate your listeners ears okay especially Americans okay so so after you mention Snoop Dogg and your listener already know already knows that what who, who are you talking about so you don't have to repeat Snoop Dogg again and again so 
you're gonna use the pronoun he okay to refer to Snoop Dogg okay so that's okay that's uh, the example of past progressive tense using the auxiliary verb was okay and then let's talk about um let's talk about plural plural uh, plural uh, plural auxiliary verb okay so let's, uh, let's move on to word okay okay so word is used again uh, on what subject singular or plural okay so if your answer is plural then b -b 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 bingo you're right okay you're absolutely right okay so where is used if your subject is plural okay plural means many not one but many okay many okay so there you, uh, okay so you use there in your plural subject okay so uh, give me examples of a plural subject okay let's uh, think of let's think of a plural subject okay okay Koreans uh, we over already mentioned it okay so let's uh, think uh, something or someone else okay let's see uh, plural 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 okay uh, mm -hmm. let's say fans fans okay fans okay we're not talking about a single fan okay but we're talking about fans many of them okay fans were in the past okay they were doing it fans were then we have now what comes next if you're making a past progressive tense okay so you have word there right so what will be next the verb ing okay so imagine of an action that the fans were doing at that time so fans were what fans were okay action action then make it a progressive okay action then make it on make it an ongoing action okay so fans were celebrating okay fans were celebrating all right fans were celebrating okay so that's a very good example of uh, past progressive tense with the uh, plural subject okay fans were celebrating M meaning in the in the past you want to talk about the fans okay celebrating doing the action of celebration okay uh, but that's what you want to emphasize because you want to tell your listener that they were so ha happy okay um, maybe maybe because their uh, their uh, favorite team basketball team won the championship like uh, you know uh, Hinebra you know Hinebra Hinebra Jean Kings you know that if you're a Filipino of course um, you know that team alright you 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 know very much about that team if you're a Filipino because Filipinos are so crazy about Hinebra okay Hinebra and I'm talking about not the gene okay not the gene okay I'm talking about the basketball team okay they're the uh, popular team here in the Philippines okay maybe uh I don't know just my opinion opinion maybe 70 per, 70 percent of Filipino love uh, Filipinos uh, love Hinebra okay that, that's that, that's my uh, that's my only my uh, estimate okay my opinion okay but I'm not sure but I'm pretty but one thing for sure that uh, many Filipinos love Hinebra uh, the, so much okay uh, because uh, as a matter of fact, when they won the championship, okay, uh, the not not so um, just this. Um, I think last year when they won the championship last year, the um, the what's the arena in Bulacan, the Philippine arena, right? Were jam packed, okay. Uh, you can call that as you will, okay. 
you, or you can call that if you want, were jam-packed with so many fans that it almost filled the whole arena. Imagine how big, imagine Philippine Arena is one of the biggest, actually I think it's the biggest arena in whole, I think whole world or whole Asia. So, so you can see that, that many fans, okay, are with Hinebra, okay, than any other teams, okay. So, so fans were celebrating when Hinebra won the championship, okay. That's what you're trying to say, okay. So the action in the past, that's your emphasis, okay. So that's what progressive tense is used for, okay. So this is a very good example, okay. But again, like uh, I've told you, okay, there's, there's an exception, okay, to this uh, rule aux with this auxiliary, okay, and what, on what uh, part of speech, okay, or, 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 or let me uh, uh, just say it to you straight, okay, what pronoun, okay, that, that it's a singular, but it doesn't use a singular auxiliary verb or be verb okay so what's that pronoun that instead of using a singular auxiliary verb or auxiliary or be verb all right it's using the plural auxiliary verb what's that pronoun okay what's that pronoun okay of course the pronoun you okay nothing nothing else okay you is Singular, okay? Singular in form, okay? Okay? Singular in form, okay? Because, uh, for example, I'm talking, uh, I'm also using, you can also be used to many person, but you take them as a unit, okay? Not, not, not individually, okay? So, so basically, uh, you, okay, is a singular pronoun, okay? You, okay? But, okay, but, the unique of this pronoun is it does it use the singular auxiliary verb or even auxiliar even the action verb even an action verb it doesn't use singular verbs okay so i i would say that it's not only using uh it's not it it it, it ain't only using uh uh, singular auxiliary or be verb but it's not also using it ain't also using singular action verb okay so that's what um, uh, makes uh, that's what uh, that's what you need uh, that's what uh, that what makes this uh, pronoun so unique because it doesn't use singular auxiliary verb or even singular action verb okay so you is a singular but we're gonna use singular auxiliary or be verb okay so you were okay you were you were what you were what so verb plus ing to think of an action and and make it as an action that's ongoing or that's happening okay so verb plus ing okay so think of an action then put ing into it then that's ongoing okay so you were you were what? Okay, let's uh, think of an action. You were, uh, you were, okay? So, the subject's doing an action in the past. Okay, so you were, uh, you were, okay, you were, you were what? You were stealing somebody's, Wallace, no, that's that's a very bad example. Although it's grammatically correct, but it's not good. Okay, it might uh, influence uh, the kids. Okay, so you were uh, you were um, you were uh, uh, you were. Let's say. All right, let's connect this to to this fr uh, first sentence. Okay, so fans were celebrating when and never won. Then I'm talking about you. Okay. So you were, uh, you were uh, sleeping at that time, okay? You were sleeping at that time, or you were, uh, yeah, you were sleeping at that time, okay? Because uh, maybe you're dead tired, and uh, when you hit the sheets, you just fall asleep, so you were not able 
to uh, see the championship on how the fans gone crazy when he never won the championship okay so you were sleeping okay you were sleeping you were sleeping okay so you then were plural auxiliary verb because it's the unique pronoun so sleeping ing okay but it's uh, the past okay although the action looks like present but when you put this it makes your sentence a past action and the emphasis is the doing of the action okay so all right so let's move on on the next uh, on the next uh, timeline that the progressive tense uh, can be used okay so that's when we talk about the future okay progressive tense can also be used in talking about uh, future ongoing actions okay I emphasize ongoing action okay so if your emphasis is the doing of the action okay you know like just like an electric fan okay uh, because it, it goes like this okay if you want to talk about the fan okay it's not necessarily that the fans moving okay but if your uh, interest of talking about but what you want to talk about is what the the the, the fans uh, doing okay or what did the fan uh, what what did the fan uh, do okay all right or what uh, did the fan do so you're gonna be using progressive tense because the emphasis is the happening of the action okay so let's move on on future progress future progressive tense okay so progressive tense can be can also be used in talking about the future okay but the emphasis is the happening or or the doing of the action okay so three okay so we have future progressive tense okay so for you to easy to remember okay the 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 the, the use or the purpose of this uh, rule on grammar just think that think of this word progressive okay when you say progressive it's making progress it's uh, doing an action it's evolving okay it's moving okay it's moving okay like the camera right there it's, it's rolling okay so future progressive tense okay so what's the pattern okay so uh, uh, okay will oh, I'm sorry my bad so will plus B plus uh, verb ing plus verb ing okay okay so verb ing we shall shall also because it's a future shall okay plus verb ing okay so here we go so here we go okay so how will you know that what your uh, what the person uh, is telling you is uh, fut is about the future is about future is about uh, some future action some future actions um, okay when you hear this okay will okay will is always used when you talk about a future action okay when you talk about the future okay and also uh, shall uh, most likely but not all the time because shall is also used in present but when you want to sound uh, polite okay kind for example shall we dance okay it's not a future action because you're asking her right now that we okay so but you you, you don't want to sound rude so you use shall okay so shall is is used in two ways okay it's used for for talking about future action okay in a polite way in a polite in a nice way okay or a, about a uh, present action that you want to do okay uh, or asking a person in uh, in a nice manner okay 
you want to sound nice, polite, or uh, in Tagalog, you know, magaling, magaling. So, kung gusto mo maging magaling, you use the word shawl, okay? Because if you don't use that, you'll sound rude, okay? Because you cannot just simply uh, go in front of a lady and you'll say, can we dance? Okay, if you're talking to an American, it might really sound uh, offensive or rude because it's just like uh, telling her that whether you like it or not, you have to dance with me, okay? So, uh, or, or just asking that, or it just, it's just like, uh, it's just like uh, telling her that, it's just like asking her, do you know how to dance? And ask, also asking yourself, do, do I know, do I also know uh, how to dance? So uh, it sounds weird, okay? So the best, so if you want to sound uh, polite, okay, and you don't want to sound rude, okay, or uh, without manners, you can call it like that. So you, you, you use the word shawl, shawl, okay, shawl. Shall we dance? Shall we eat? Okay. Uh, shall we dance? Shall we eat? Shall, um, shall we go? Okay, so that when you use that sh shall there, that's auxiliary verb, okay, you will sound so polite with the Americans that they would, that they could hardly resist what you're offering, okay? So, okay, you, you, if you want to sound like a, a real gentleman, so you use the word sh shawl, okay? Especially if you're talking to an American or British, British, British uh, people or Australian or uh, whatever uh, uh, English-speaking nationality uh, they could be, okay? So shawl, okay? Shawl, okay, so two uses, future and uh, polite expression, polite request, okay? This one's only used for future. Alright? So, will and shall. There we go. So, will definitely you're talking about future action. Okay? So, uh, shall also is future action and also polite request. Okay? So, shall we dance? Shall we eat? Shall we go? It's like, like this. Shall we go? Okay? You don't say, okay, uh, will, will, will you go? Will you go with me? You know, sounds rude, okay? Sounds informal, okay? It's a bit slang, okay? Although Americans uh, are lots of sli slang, but uh, they, uh, they also uh, aching for something polite, okay? Because it really, you know, you know uh, the saying in the Bible that uh, sweet words uh, are like honey. Okay, uh, they're sweet to the soul, okay, so the same with these words, okay, so if you want to sound polite with the Americans, you use shawl, okay, okay, so that's two uses, okay, so uh, let's uh, go back to future progressive tense, okay, so let's uh, 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 put this uh, pattern into action, okay, by making up some sentences out of it, okay, so here we go, so uh, give me a subject. What will be your subject? Okay, it can be a name of a, it could be a proper noun, a name of a person, okay, a name of a thing, whatever it is, okay. So here, uh, will, will, uh, will and shall, okay, um, uh, not really, it doesn't matter whether your subject or uh, whether your subject is singular or plural, okay. So this one, this one's uh, very easy, okay? Because you don't have to think whether uh, you're, uh, whether or not you're using the right auxiliary verbs because of the subject you're using, okay? So you don't have to worry, worry okay? Because this one, uh, the, these auxiliary verbs do not care whether your subject or subjects is singular or plural, okay? So. Okay, so let's make some sentences out of it, okay? So, for example, okay, um, okay, let's make a sentence, okay? Will plus be plus verb plus ing, okay? 
So let's say, for example, uh, my subject is uh, I'm running out of uh, examples. Okay, I hope I could enter that with you, so I could uh, get some uh, realistic example. Okay, let me think. Okay, let me think. Uh, for example, uh, let's just imagine that I'm. Uh, that I'm uh, I'm a Korean, although I, uh, I, I I I really don't like uh, Korean. Okay, not 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 not, uh, not even the slightest, uh, not even the slightest. So uh, let's say, for example, uh, I'm a foreigner. Okay, and I want to go to the Philippines to the Philippines because foreigners are uh, fond of. Uh, uh, of uh, vacation or going to other countries okay so for example okay so I okay I is your subject because I'm talking uh, I, I'm, I'm talking to myself so I will be I will be I'm oh, sorry my bad my bad my bad okay so I will be, uh, no All right I will be visiting my no no I will be visiting Philippines okay Philippines okay so let's say for example like that all right I will be visiting uh, the the Phil the Philippines the Philippines okay so there should always be the okay not not only Philippines okay the Philippines okay I will be visiting the Philippines okay so I'll be visiting the Philippines, okay? So, okay, take a look at this. This is your subject. So you got your subject right there, the pronoun I, okay? So that's your subject. And this is your auxiliary verb, okay? Or, okay? And this is, okay, another auxiliary verb or be verb, okay? Uh, yeah? Then uh, that's your B verb, okay? B verb, all right. B, uh, then visiting, okay? So, okay. Did we did we comply with the pattern? Will check. B check. Okay. Visiting. That's a verb, right? So the 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 base form of uh, visiting is visit, right? So we we change it to by adding ing. That's why it, it became visiting, right? Okay, then what's this? It's your object. Okay, the Philippines. Okay, always remember that that your objects are usually noun. Okay, because it's the one that receives the action. Okay, it's one that receives the action. Okay, so that's why it's always not uh, most of the time it's noun. Okay, so we comply. Okay, so i will be visiting the philippines okay that's future progressive tense okay because you're talking about the future and uh you emphasize the action that you will be doing in the future which will be visiting okay so let's uh, go okay and um okay so like i've told you uh this uh one this uh, this pattern uh it's uh so easy because you don't have to to because you can use uh, you can use it to any uh, subject that you have okay to any subjects to any subjects whether it's singular or plural okay so you don't have to think about uh, the singular plural uh, subject verb agreement okay because uh, doesn't exist on this pattern so uh, let's use a plural subject okay for example uh, let's say uh, Let's say, uh, let's say, uh, subject, subject that's doing the action. Mm -hmm. Let's say, uh, subject, okay. Koreans? No, not again, okay. Too much of Koreans, okay. Uh, let's say, uh, viewers, viewers. Okay, let's say viewers, okay? Viewers okay, will be 
All right, we'll be uh, watching. Watching what? Object again, noun. Okay. So object. What will be the viewers uh, be watching? Okay. Uh, my videos. My videos or my YouTube videos. Okay. You can say that. Okay. My YouTube. videos okay all right so okay let's check it if we comply with the pattern feature progressive tense okay so viewers are subject okay and is it singular is it singular or plural is it singular or plural mic test okay, test yeah, mic so mic. is it uh, singular or plural viewers right there's an s okay so what's the rule in making uh, the subject plural of course you usually put s or es into it so is this uh, singular or plural so it's plural right because not only one viewer but many okay because of the s okay viewers okay so we're talking about more than one viewer so viewers okay so you have their plural subject okay and we use will okay be watching my Okay, so will check, okay, there on the pattern B, check there, verb, sorry, my bad, watching, that's verb, okay, and ing, because the verb for watching is the base form is what? Watch, right? Then we put ing into it because we're making progressive tense, so became watching, okay? So check, we comply okay watching what my youtube videos this is your object okay and again it's an m okay because it's the one that receives the action okay uh, that received the action okay so okay so in other words okay this pattern doesn't care whether your subject is singular or plural okay let's try uh, so i usually goes with the plural uh, auxiliary verb or be verb right so let's try um, singular okay singular uh, subject okay what what if we remove this okay okay so do we need to change something here because the subject became singular do 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 we need to change something on this sentence because we change our subject from single uh, from plural to singular okay do do we have to change something what, what do you think okay what's your answer okay if your answer is no need you're absolutely right all right there's nothing to change there okay no need to change anything there because it's still good okay viewer will be watching my youtube videos all right but but there's a but, okay? And I, I, I'm not talking an S, okay? But, you put, okay, uh, you put the um, determiner there, okay? Uh, okay? Uh, vowel sound, uh, a viewer. A viewer, because, because uh, it's only one person, so a viewer, so it's much better to put uh, there a viewer okay because you don't uh, specify who will be that viewer you don't know but one thing for sure that it's only one so you put there uh, a viewer okay but if you know the viewer and uh, it's not just uh, it's not just uh, any any other kind of viewer uh, viewers or it's not just uh, any kind of viewer uh, you, you you can change it to you can remove this uh, then you change this to the the viewer okay so that's a different uh, rule on grammar okay so if you're interested on that rule just feel free to chat me up okay or yeah text me up okay so but for now let's stick with oh, a viewer will be watching my youtube videos okay so the point there here is you don't have to change anything with this pattern just because 
your subject became singular okay so this parent really these parents do not care whether the subject singular or plural okay unlike the other uh, the other patterns okay when your uh, subject uh, changes from uh, plural to singular or vice versa so you have to do something about it okay so you have to do something about your sentence but this one you don't have to worry okay you don't have to do anything okay except for putting a de determiner okay so yeah so that would be it for progressive tense okay we've already talked about okay the different patterns or format of 